AFL Chiefs don't normally receive applause in Tasmania. Today, that changed. Tasmanian football's spiritual home, the scene of its most significant moment. I'm proud and excited to announce the awarding of the 19th licence to play in the AFL and AFLW competitions to Tasmania. A 19th club. A standalone club for Tasmania, Team 19 for the AFL in Footy Heartland. A 30-year fight for inclusion officially over. This has been a hard fight, hard fought for uh, by uh, many, many Tasmanians over a number of generations. An emotional day for Tasmania's legends of the game. This is the biggest moment in Tasmanian football, guaranteed. I think today's the, the most historic day in, in Tasmanian football and that will only be superseded by the day that the Tasmanian Football Club wins its first premiership. And a momentous occasion for the next generation. Talent's going to stay in Tassie now, so um, when the, when the under-18s girls finish playing the Coats League, um, they can you know, be, be drafted to a Tasmanian team in, in 2028. But nothing is for free. Government funding of $144 million over 12 years, a dedicated training base. That's on top of more than half a billion dollars of state and federal money for a contentious new stadium. Not to mention the potential cost in political capital. You invest in key areas so you can grow the economy, employ Tasmanians, build confidence, and so that's when uh, you fund your essential services. Even as late as this morning, the deal was yet to be fully finalised. A little bit to do yet, but it, uh, I'm pleased to be getting on a plane heading down there. An 11th hour meeting with the Premier required. There's no chance this thing could fall over at the last Well, minute. it's up to the Premier now. The I-dotting and T-crossing eventually completed. 2028, the official target for a team debut. AFLW likely the year after. VFL men's and women's as soon as 2025. Rival clubs already beginning the process of warding off Team Tasmania. Already strategising with um, Stephen Silvani and Graham Allen and our executive to try and understand what ramifications are and what it means for your list because... I mean, someone's going to pay the ferryman. Plenty of devils still in the detail on a landmark day for the state.